Okay, class, today we're in section 3.3, .3, graph using intercepts. 3.3, .3, graph using intercepts. Before, you graphed a linear equation using a table of values. Now, you will graph a linear equation using intercepts. Key vocabulary, x-intercept, y-intercept. You can use the fact that two points determine a line to graph a linear equation. Two convenient points are the points where the graph cross the axes. An x-intercept of a graph is the x-coordinate of a point where the graph crosses the x-axis. A y-intercept of a graph is the y-coordinate of a point where the graph crosses the y-axis. In other words, when you look at a line, When the line crosses the y-axis, that's the y-intercept. When the line crosses the x-axis, here's your line, and it's crossing the x-axis, that's the x-intercept. To find the x-intercept of the graph of a linear equation, find the value of x when y is 0. To find the y-intercept of the graph, find the value of y when x is 0. So what they're saying there, if you look at the y-intercept here, notice the y-intercept occurs when x is 0. x 0, y is 6. And also notice the x-intercept occurs, the x-intercept here is 3. It occurs when y is 0. Once again, the y-intercept occurs when x is 0, and the x-intercept occurs when y is 0. So we're going to use this principle in conjunction with an equation to find the x and y intercepts to make a quick graph just using y intercept and the x intercept as opposed to making a table. Example one, find the intercepts of the graph of an equation. Find the x and y intercepts of the graph 2x plus 7y is equal to 28. Find the x and y intercepts of the graph of 2x plus 7y is equal to 28. Solution. To find the x-intercept, substitute 0 for y and solve for x. So, write the original equation. Since we're trying to find the x-intercept, the x-intercept occurs when y is equal to 0. So in place of y, we put 0. So we end up with 2x plus 7 times 0 is equal to 28. 7 times 0 is 0, so we're left with, we are left with 2x is equal to 28. Now we divide both sides by 2. That's what they did there. Now they're not showing you this step. But I'm showing this so you don't get confused. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. And you're left with x is equal to 28 divided by 2, which is 14. So we now know that the x-intercept is 14. To find the y-intercept, substitute 0 for x and solve for y. So our equation, 2x plus 7y, is equal to 28. We want to find the y-intercept, so to find the y-intercept, x must be 0. So in place of x, we put 0. And after solving the problem, right, we read it, we read it out once again, so for those of us who have forgotten how to solve an equation. So we got 2 times 0 plus 7y is equal to 28. Well, what's 2 times 0? That's 0, so that's gone. So now you got 7y is equal to 28. You sum it for y, so you divide both sides by 7. And you come out with that y is equal to 4, as they show you right here. Example 2. Use intercepts to graph an equation. Graph the equation x plus 2y is equal to 4. Solution. Step 1. Find the intercepts. 
Okay, so the first intercept we're going to find is the x-intercept. Now, how do we find the x-intercept? We write that equation down. When does the x-intercept occur? When y is equal to 0. So we have x plus 2y is equal to 4. In place of y, we put 0. So now we end up with x plus 2 times 0 is equal to 4. 2 times 0 is 0. So so that's going to cancel out. And you're left with just x is equal to 4. So the x-intercept is 4. Okay, next we're going to find the y-intercept. When does the y-intercept occur? When x is equal to 0. So in place of x, we put 0. So we got the same equation, x plus 2y is equal to 4. We're trying to find the y-intercept, so in place of x, we put 0. So now we have 0 plus 2y is equal to 4. 0 plus 2y is equal to Two y is equal to four. Zero plus two y is equal to two y. So you end up with two y is equal to four. Now divide both sides by two, and you find out that y is equal to two. So the x-intercept is four, and the y-intercept is two. Step two: plot points. The x-intercept is four, so plot the point four zero. So 4, 0 would be 1, 2, 3, 4. That's for x. And y is 0, so that means we stay right there. So that's our point right there. Next, the y-intercept is 2. So plot the point 0, 2. Then draw a line through points. So the y-intercept is 2, so that means that's going to be right there. But to show you how to count it, x is 0, y is 2, 1, 2. And we got it. Now we draw a line through points. We draw a line through points. And notice that this graph is continuous. This graph is, is continuous, not discrete. Why? Because it's a solid line going all the way through. Example three, use a graph to find intercepts. The graph crosses the x-axis at two, zero. The x-intercept is two. The graph crosses the y-axis at zero, negative one. The y-intercept is negative one. So once again, that's easy to figure out. Look at your x-axis. Where does that blue line cross? Right there. That's telling you that the x-intercept is 2. So when does that occur? x is 2 when y is 0. x is 2 when y is 0. Now let's look for the y-intercept. Look at the y-axis. Go down that line. Where does that blue line cross the axis? Right here. That's that negative 1. The y-value is negative 1. What's the x-value? 0. So your coordinates would be 0, 1. Once again, the x-intercept occurs when y is 0. The y-intercept occurs when x is 0. Key concept, relating intercepts, points, and graphs. Intercepts, the x-intercept of a graph is A. The y-intercept of a graph is B. Points. The graph crosses the x-axis at A0. The graph crosses the y-axis at 0B. Example 4. Solve a multi-step problem. Event planning. You are helping to plan an awards banquet for your school. And you need to rent tables to seat 180 people. Tables come in two sizes. Small tables seats four people, and large tables seat six people. This situation can be modeled by the equation 4x plus 6y is equal to 180, where x is the number of small tables and y is the number of large tables. Find the intercepts of the graph of the equation. Graph the equation. Give four possibilities for the number of each side's tables you could rent. Solution, step one, find the intercepts. 4x plus 6y is equal to 180. Okay, to find the x-intercept, y must be zero. So 4x plus 6 times zero is equal to 180. What's 6 times zero? 6 times zero is zero. So what are you left with in this equation? 
you are left with 4x is equal to 180. All right, now you do what? Now you divide both sides by 4. And when you divide both sides by 4, you will come out with 45. Okay, so the x-intercept is 45. Now we go to the other side, and we find the y-intercept. 4x plus 6y is equal to 180. We know that the uh, y-intercept occurs when x is 0. So we end up with 4 times 0 plus 6y is equal to 180. What's 4 times 0? That's going to be 0. So that's going to be gone. So what are we left with? 6y is equal to 180. How do we get the y by itself? We divide both sides by 6. All right, what's 6 divided by 6? That's going to be 1, so we got 1y. One 180 divided by 6 is 30, so the y-intercept is 30. x-intercept 45, y-intercept is 30. Step 2, graph the equation. The x-intercept is 45, so plot the point 45, 0. x is 45, y is 0. Notice how they set up their, uh, their graph, what increments they're using. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So x is 45 and y is 0. Since y is 0, we don't, we don't go up or down. We stay right there. The y-intercept is 30. So plot the point 0, 30. x is 0, y is 30. That's our point. Now, since x and y both represent numbers of tables, neither x nor y can be negative. So instead of drawing a line, draw the part of the line that is in quadrant one. All right, so what they mean there is, instead of the line going all the way through like so, since all you can deal with is positive values, stay in quadrant one, because uh, x is positive here, and y is positive there, always. Step three, find the number of tables. For this problem, only whole number of values of x and y make sense. You can see that the line passes through the points 0, 30, 15, 20, 30, 10, and 45, 0. So four possible combinations of tables that will seat 180 people are 0, small, and 30, large, 15, small, and 20, large, 30, small, and 10, large, 45 small and zero large. Now, for those of us who may be just a little bit lost, don't forget they told us that X represents small and Y represents large. So here X is zero. So that's why they say you end up with zero small and 30 large. Here, 15 small and 20 large, 30 small, 10 large, 45 small, zero large. Example five, use a linear model. Submersibles. A submersible design to explore the ocean floor is at an elevation of a negative 13,000 feet below sea level. The submersible ascends to the surface at an average rate of 650 feet per minute. The elevation E in feet of the submersible is given by the function E is equal to 650t minus 13,000, where t is the time in minutes since the submersible began to ascend. Find the intercepts of the graph of the function and state what the intercept represent. Graph the function and identify its domain and range. Solution, step one, find the intercepts. Zero is equal to 650t minus 13. So in this case, this is our y. So we set y equal to zero to find the x-intercept, which in this case is t. Okay, we're trying to get t by itself, so the negative 13 must move to the other side. So positive 13,000, positive 13,000. So here we end up with 13,000 is equal to 650 times t. Then we divide both sides by 650, by 650, and we end up with t is equal to 20.